lots and lots of people told me I would never be able to do it, even though I've made like 11 programming languages before and they didn't know that, right? Like people will tell you all the time what all the problems are. Now that's true. The problems are the problems and they need to be solved to the extent that they're actually real. Sometimes people overestimate problems, right? Um, but what you do is you say, okay, this is a problem. How do I solve it? You don't say, I can't do the thing because there's this problem, right? The way that you win is by winning, right? The way that you win is by taking the fight. And the way that you take the fight is by seeing how you can win the fight, <laughs> seeing that there is actually a possibility of winning the fight. And this is a thing. So I think a lot of Silicon Valley you know, startup culture is, is messed up and dumb, but part of it that isn't corresponds to the thing that I just said. Part of it that isn't messed up is this idea that you can do something that most people wouldn't try because they're just not willing to try. And that is, that is how you do stuff. That is how you do stuff that most people don't think is possible because they just decided it wasn't possible. So they don't even think about it. And then you actually look at it and you're like, oh, you know, I could start a rocket company <laughs> or I could land a rocket, right? Or whatever, you know, I could turn my bookstore into something that owns all American shipping, <laughs> right? Um, that is a thing. And there's a, you're a much more successful person when you realize that that is a thing. Now, now that's, that's my opinion, right? So of course that said, right? The flip side that making the error in the other direction is all the people who are super idealistic and say, oh, I'm going to be able to do this awesome thing and it's going to be no problem because I'm me and I'm cool, right? That doesn't work either. Those people fail. And the reason is because you have, to, you have to have a realistic assessment of your current abilities and of your ability to learn. You have to have a realistic assessment of what the problem is and what is failing about your current approach. And in fact, you have to update that very rapidly while you're trying the thing because always what happens is you don't really know that much it turns out in retrospect about the thing you're trying to do until you go start doing it and running into problems, right? And so... People on both ends of these fail. People who take problems too seriously fail and people who don't take them seriously enough fail. Um, you want to be, you want to be like Goldilocks. You want to get it just right. <laughs> I will be fine even if I'm the only user. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't be doing this if I thought that that was a high probability. You can't apply this to generic language for everyone. Here's the thing. That is what everybody says. Okay. And again, it's in, I've talked to other people about this too, and they observe the same thing in every category where I get asked for advice from people. Like, let's say, let's say I'm funding an indie game, right? And they're like, how do I market my indie game and get people to pay attention to it? And I say, well, you know, it's always hard to say you're going to you're going to need to get creative and do some of your own thing because your game is different from everyone else's. But you kind of need to do this thing and that thing and that thing. Right. Or people ask, how do I learn how to program really well? And I say, you do this thing and that thing. And almost always, 99 percent of the time, people say, oh, I can't do that. Oh, I wouldn't do that. That's for you. That's not for me. And it's like, no, look, what I'm telling you is how to be as good at something as I am, because all I did was do these things. All right. You could do these things too. And people don't, they filter themselves out. They self-select. Why? I don't know. I think there is something very deep. This is supposition on my part, but I think there is something very deep in human psychology where people don't like to be outliers because being an outlier is dangerous. So if you tell them, the, the way that you succeed at this is to be an outlier in terms of what you do. Just a switch in people's brains flips and they go, oh, no, that's not me. Even when the steps aren't that hard. Um, and so I see this all the time. And so you're saying, well, you can't give this advice to, to people about 
to normal people. And I'm like, yes, I can, because this is how you succeed. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to say how you succeed at things that people normally wouldn't try. This is my best advice. And it'll work for most people. I mean, maybe if somebody is just really not a good programmer, well, they shouldn't follow this advice with regard to programming, but they could follow it with regard to something else, you know? Um, I see this all the time. I've talked to other people who mentor people and fund people, and they see it all the time too. It is very, very common. Very common. And I don't know what to do about it because all I can do is give advice and then all people can do is ignore it. And then I'm just like, great. See you, bro. Right? I mean, it's frustrating, but it is what it is, I guess.